All right, let's have a look at our last scenario here. And the last scenario is another very interesting one. And this scenario we refer to as events. So as many of you know, companies often conduct training sessions that are held on an annual or sometimes even more frequent basis. There's also events like conferences, company retreats, and maybe as a manager or an HR manager, I want to plan out who will be attending which event and when. So who will be participating? And I can do that here on this interface. Alternatively, it can be used for users to report when they are on a conference or when they are uh, training or when they are on the participating in a company retreat. Moreover, if we're using active plans for allocating absences as well, this interface will show us when users are away. So if we look at the grayed out boxes, this means that the user is not available. It's a non-working time. So in this particular case, this is a vacation. So if I'm on vacation during this period, uh, the HR will be able to see that and not schedule a certain training for me and schedule it perhaps in a different for a different group or a different time. So again, a very interesting, very useful tool in terms of visibility and being able to plan participation in company events. All right, in terms of the reporting capabilities, again, if we look at the reporting capabilities, we can see uh, not only the duration of time, but just the fact of attendance of certain uh, events as well. So if we wanna have a look and dive into one particular kind of event, uh, we can see uh, how much, uh, how many users participated, what was the duration of that event. So again, it's a work-related activity that sometimes we don't always know how to plan out and how to group into teams, and this kind of information helps us. Here we can see a full breakdown of who attended the, certain, the event or the training session and when exactly it was attended.